Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to discuss static and kinetic friction and to consider the friction force plot or a diagram which um, shows the interaction between friction and force. So we'll start off by having a look at static friction. So what I've got here, I've just written down static friction. It's basically just friction that resists all movement. So whenever we are applying a force to some kind of um, object and the object isn't moving, then uh, the thing that is stopping the object from moving is what we call static friction. So for example, I have here, I've just got a block that's just sitting on um, some kind of flat surface. And if I apply um, a force here and the block doesn't move, I know that the, that static friction is stopping it from moving. So in order to um, put this into equilibrium, I'd have to draw in uh, resultant forces, which are which is going to be static friction, which would be acting um, equally and opposite to um, the applied force. So friction, of course, it always acts um, along the plane in which um, the movement is being attempted. And you can see that when we're, when we're considering static friction, our condition is equilibrium. So the way that we work out um, the magnitude of the static friction is via um, the use of equilibrium equations. So um, if this block doesn't move, we know that it's in equilibrium. So we can apply um, the sum of the forces in either the x or the y direction is equal to zero. And that allows us to solve for static friction. So the formula which defines static friction is just written here. So we have static friction, so Fs, that's